Hi everybody, this is the Lucky TJ, and uh, I just want to talk about something that I've been thinking about. I think about the earth, people, what we're here for, what our purpose is. And as I drive, and I notice how much some people seem as though what they would prefer to do is to destroy. Why is it that people love to destroy the earth? You know, why do they, why, what is the, what is, is it because it doesn't matter? Like I was thinking about why people would rather destroy than nurture. So, you know, there, there's this prevalent thing in society that says that um, men, people, men, men, women, let's just say, I'm going to use the term man because it's what everyone always uses, but I should actually just say humans. How about that? Well, the humankind seems as though they think that they need to control everything, that they need to control and prune, like everything that's here naturally, that's created by something that a human doesn't quite understand. And it doesn't matter whether you call it God, or you call it the universe, or you call it nothing. There's clearly something in this field, this dimension, in this plane that we live in, the earth world, that people do not create, for example, trees or uh, green things, and that the and and the culture, the humankind culture, is very often seemingly like they want to destroy everything, like um, and make it make it better, make it you know like you you know what it. Like as though they they know what what better is. For example, when you look at you look at trees and grass, um, I don't see anything wrong with them as they are. But many people might look at them and they may, and they don't know even why they think this. But they say, oh, I gotta cut these back and trim them up and shape them into something round or square or, you know, and I'm going to cut down um, these trees so that I have landscaping and uh, landscaping for different reasons. Is landscaping an art form? Is it practical? Does it make it so that the value, so, and, the, and they create value with it. So that you know your property looks better when it's when it's dressed up, you know. But the thing about it that I'm trying to talk about is the ideas behind these notions, where they came from, why they are in place, why they rule us, or we act as though they rule us, and we allow them to rule us, and why we keep perpetuating these types of things that ultimately <coughs> are not in our best interest. The things that I'm talking about are, it, it's not really uh, that I am <coughs> want anything other than what, what seems obviously to be what would be in the best interest in the best interest of the human, of the humankind, you know, like for example, um, when when you cut down all the trees, well, trees give us trees trees can give us something we can't really give ourselves, and that would be oxygen. So they're they're here for a purpose, and. Uh, so when people just arbitrarily cut down trees and trees and more trees, and I say that it's arbitrary because people, I think, don't have the skill set to do to know. Well, for, first of all, people are always trying to think that they know more than than whoever created this situation that we live in, this this earth. Um, and uh, my point is that. Uh, cut down all the trees and then you suffer 
with different types of weather patterns and then say no I don't no it's just naturally that well I don't think so because actions create reactions and you've heard of the butterfly effect um, that's that's where you do something in one a butterfly flaps its wings in one part of the web where in the world and the the effect of the wave it's like when you throw a, a stone into a pond you see that ripple effect of the waves and you know that you can see that there but there's other invisible waves that people don't recognize and they think it's not happening and I just do whatever the heck I want and it doesn't affect anyone or anybody but when you cut down trees because of whatever the fear reasons are or the control reasons are or whatever other reasons then you're not really taking in the wholeness of and oneness of the environment that we live in so anyway I was just thinking about um, destruction versus like this tendency for people to love destroying like people who destroy animals who have to go out hunting and killing for sport for fun for something to do and to brag about to put up big pictures of how they fished or killed this or that what is that killing destroying um, what is that all about why is it that killing and destroying has become the thing that everybody loves and wants to do celebrates worships and um, you know when we could be people who nurture and and just bring beauty and life to everything and expansion um, instead of destroying slowly but surely every natural thing that's on this earth for reasons of un for unthought about reasons you know that's the whole thing is that people are ro act like robots as though they can't think for themselves they accept every practice um, that other people have you know laid down for them without even thinking about it and it's important to think on your own the only way we're going to save the world the planet transform to in this world into a loving harmonious peaceful beautiful place is to um, is to become aware and uh, stop doing things that hurt us and start doing things that help us. So anyway, I am just going to say question every belief you have and see like what is it that what is it what is it about? Why do you have that in place? What is it that makes you think that asphalt is better than dirt? You know, um, so that you have to cover and, you know, or, or that, you know, that plain old lawns are better than um, trees and grass and cutting. What, what is it that makes you think that it's really okay to cut down um, the Amazon jungle for creating and selling um, palm oil and all this other stuff? Are you killing the natural environment? of of creatures animals insects everything has its place here human beings are no are not more important than everything else here on this planet although they try to act like it all right but nonetheless do it all in love and in peace and in awareness all right peace out